Chester M. Ogden from Copper's Cove, Army Master Sergeant, killed July 8, 1959. It involves making dog tags for every Texan killed during the Vietnam War. Uh, we're making two sets of each dog tag, one in a matted, which is going to be entombed in the monument. The other is going to be a shiny one, which will be displayed. 3,417 people, to be exact. I mean, it's a kind of a scary number, but, uh, but we're going to meet every one of them. Now, this is the hard way. There are, there are easy, easier ways to do this. You could do it. Um, you know, with all kinds of, of new technology, but this is what, this is personal. With each letter, you know, we're, we're memorializing Texas veterans that were killed. Donald J. Matoka, second lieutenant, United States Marine Corps, Smithville, Texas, killed April 5th, 1968. Well, when I look at the monument and know that the dog tags that I helped make are going to be entombed in that monument. It's going to leave me with a very good feeling inside, a very warm feeling, closeness to the monument that other people, when they look at it and see, aren't going to have that same feeling. But it'll be something I'll carry with me for the rest of my life, that I was a small part of a big plan. Once I get going with this thing, you know, I'm, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm, I'm visiting each guy. You know, I'm saying hello and, you know, hey, I'm sorry you're, you're gone, but, you know, you got, you're remembered. You know, there's not much that we can do for these people except remember them. And, uh, and that's, that's our job as, as uh, veterans is to remember them well. And that's what I'm doing. These guys are, are remembered well. Antonio R. Sandoval, San Antonio, Texas. Marine Corps, PFC, killed in action May 15, 1975.